Hello students, in this video we are going to continue with chapter 8 motion and learning outcomes of this video are first define uniform motion giving one example at least define uniform motion along a straight line again you should be able to give one example at least third define non-uniform motion fourth which physical quantity or quantities does or do remain constant during uniform motion first case and next case is uniform motion along a straight line so let us see what is uniform motion a body is said to be in uniform motion when it covers equal distances in equal intervals of time so this is the definition of uniform motion means when a body is moving uniformly smoothly then when it is when it covers equal distances in equal intervals of time this is the definition for this and if we talk about defined uniform motion along a straight line then it is very simple uniform motion along a straight line is a motion when a body covers equal distances in equal intervals of time along a particular direction I think so the difference is clear that here the direction is not changing and in this case a body may change the direction but only condition required is that equal distances are covered in equal intervals of time. In this case there are two conditions first of all equal distances should be covered in equal intervals of time and secondly direction also should remain the same. Let us try to understand these by taking examples. Now let us consider that when we start our time, it means when time is 0 second, distance tripped by the body is 0 meter because, okay, and the body is in motion. And let us say that if after 2 seconds, the distance covered by the body is 20 meters. And when the time is 4 seconds, it means first 0 second distance travelled is 0 meter. And when the time becomes 2 seconds, it is 20 meter. When this time becomes 4 seconds, distance travelled is 40 meter. And when time becomes 6 seconds, distance travelled is 60 meter. We can denote this by T1, T2, T3, T4, S1, S2, S3, S4. So here we can easily see that at the beginning distance is 0 meter. Okay, and in for the first 2 seconds, distance travelled by the body is S2 minus S1, that is 20 meter. Now, when the time is 4 seconds, it means in the next 2 seconds, the distance travelled is 40 minus 20, again 20 meter. So, here the distance travelled is 20 meter, here again the distance travelled is 20 meter. And what is the distance travelled? Between these two times, it means the next two, two seconds, that is 60 minus 40, which is again 20 meters. So we can see here that in every time interval of 2 minus 0, 2 seconds, 4 minus 2, 2 seconds, 6 minus 4, 2 seconds. So we can say that in equal intervals of time, the body is traveling equal distances. And when this is the case, we say that the body is in uniform motion because it is covering equal distances in equal intervals of time. Now, in this case, we are not mentioning the direction a body may be moving along a straight path or a body may be moving along a curved path or a zigzag path. There is no condition regarding the nature of this path, whether it is straight, curved, zigzag. Only the condition is equal distances in equal intervals of time. Now students, for example, to give examples of uniform motion, we can write here a car moving at a constant speed. Why we have given this example? Because when a body is covering equal distances in equal intervals of time, means 20 meter in 2 seconds, then obviously 20 meters in 2 seconds. 
So what is the speed? 10 meter per second. And we can see continuously that as the body is in motion, it is covering equal distances in equal intervals of time. And when we take the equal time interval to be 1 second, distance travelled is 10 meters. So speed becomes 10 meter per second throughout. So we can say that in uniform motion, car anything is moving at a constant speed. So a car moving at a constant speed is said to be in uniform motion. We can also mention at a constant speed of let us say 60 km per hour. Now students I have seen that uh, uh, some students give wrong examples for this example. For example, they say that motion of moon around the earth or sun uh, or earth around the sun is uniform motion. But here they are wrong because we should know that when, sun, when earth moves around the sun or moon moves around earth, their speed is not constant. Their speed changes. They are not covering equal distances in equal intervals of time. So we should never give the example of motion of moon around the earth or earth around the sun under this exam, under this definition, uniform motion. And also one thing, I have seen students giving example of motion of a pendulum. All of you must have studied about pendulum in the lower classes, at least not in depth, but something you know about pendulum. We know this is a pendulum, a point size mast which is hanging by a light, inextensible, weightless thread. And when it is made to oscillate, it starts oscillatory motion. So students give this example that motion of a pendulum is a uniform motion. Without going into depth, let me remind you that this is again not uniform motion because here also speed of this bob of this pendulum continuously changes. Okay, so we should not give these wrong examples under when we are asked to give the examples of uniform motion. Example of uniform motion along a straight line. I think so students, you must, you should be able to give this example now because only here the condition that is different is regarding the direction, that the direction should remain constant. So we can say a car moving at a constant speed of let us say 80 km per hour in a particular direction or in a straight line. Okay, so this example we can give for uniform motion along a straight line. And also just remember for the previous case when we have given example for uniform motion, I am not talking about a longer straight line, uniform motion only. You can give one very good example. If you see the clock, these there are three, there are three hands of a clock. Minute hand, this is hour hand and one slim second hand. Okay, so minute hand. Here, our hand and this is second hand. Now in this case, we know that when the clock is working properly, this tip of the hour hand or second hand or minute hand is covering equal distances in equal intervals of time. Second hands will cover equal distance in one second, similarly minute hand, hour hand. So these three hands, they are in uniform motion. You can give example motion of tip of hour hand or minute hand or seconds hand of a clock or watch, they are in uniform motion. Let us try to achieve our next learning outcome, define non-uniform motion. Now non-uniform motion as the name suggests the motion is non-uniform and I think so it is very simple. It is a motion when a body covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time. And you can also write it as when a body covers equal distances in unequal intervals of time then a body is in non-uniform motion. Both way you can write. How? Non-uniform motion is a motion, either you can write, when a body covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time or you may also write it as, it is a motion when a body covers equal distances in unequal intervals of time. 
and you let us see the examples of non uniform motion here obviously when a body is in non uniform motion just see here suppose if the time starts 0 seconds distance traveled is 0 meter and after time 2 seconds distance traveled is 20 meter after time t at time t3 that is after 4 seconds from the beginning let us say distance traveled is 80 meter okay in this case we can easily see that in the first 2 seconds during the motion what is the distance traveled 20 minus 0 distance traveled will be 20 meter and in the this next 2 seconds 4 minus 2 2 seconds what is the distance traveled 80 minus 20 distance traveled is 60 meters so in both as we see the body is in motion first the speed is distance upon time that is 20 upon 2 first the speed is 10 meter per second and afterwards we see that the distance traveled is 60 meters in next 2 seconds so 60 meters in next 2 seconds so this is the distance traveled this is the time taken and speed will be 30 meter per second so we see through this example that the when the body is in motion and it covers unequal distances in equal intervals of time then the body is said to be in non uniform motion and here we also see that the speed of a body changes in non uniform motion so let us see examples of non uniform motion first example here you can give a car moving with varying speed or speeds on the road varying speed means it is moving first with 40 km per hour speed then the road is vacant and it uh, the person driver give the race and the speed becomes let us say 80 km per hour then 100 km per hour and all of a sudden there is crowd or traffic on the road and speed is slowed down to 10 km per hour maybe the driver has to apply brakes also if the signal is there okay so a car moving with varying speeds on the road can be given under this example or same example you can write in another words like this a car moving on a crowded road you know on a crowded road speed of the car can never be constant it it can be constant only on a vacant road so on a crowded road depending upon the crowd the speed has to be slowed down or increase okay or the car has to stop also so these are the two different ways of writing the same example next example motion of a train when it starts from one station and when it starts instead of this moves its way sorry starts from one station and motion of a train when it starts from one station and stops at another station now why we have taken this example under this because we know whenever a train starts at the beginning when the time is zero train speed is zero when it starts it picks up the speed okay and the speed increases and maybe it is constant after some time or may not be constant but later on when it reaches another station and stops speed again decreases so when it starts from one station and stops at another station it means it is 100% going to change the speed from zero first and then at the end the speed is also going to become zero so and the train is in motion it means it was having certain value of speed in between so we can consider these examples for non uniform motion so this is our last learning outcome you should be able to give answer to this question which physical quantity or quantities does or do remain constant during uniform motion uniform motion along a straight line in both the cases you should be able to name the physical quantities which remain or remains constant now we know that we have already seen now that during uniform motion speed remains constant so we can write speed remains constant for uniform motion 
for uniform motion along a straight line. Again, bodies covering equal distances in equal intervals of time. So, speed remains same. Speed remains constant. But in this case, you can also say, we know that when a body is moving along a straight line, we have already mentioned initially that in this case, when a body moves along a straight line, speed and velocity, magnitude are same. Okay, speed and when it is in uniform motion, their magnitudes are same, you already know that. But also we see here, that is a different thing. Okay, that I just wanted to uh, remind you that when a body is moving along a straight line, speed and velocity magnitude both are constant. But here what we want, which physical quantity remains constant? When it is in uniform motion along a straight line, speed remains constant. So in this case, speed is constant, velocity has two things, magnitude as well as direction. Here velocity magnitude is also constant because it is equal to speed and direction is also not changing. So speed and velocity, these two are the physical quantities which remain constant along the spin. The body is in uniform motion along a straight line. Sometimes when they ask to ask you to give three physical quantities, you can also add direction. Although we have not seen how to measure, but we know that direction also can be measured in terms of angles. Okay. So first you write speed and velocity. These two are the best examples for the physical quantities which remain constant during this kind of motion. If you are required to give the third thing, you can write direction. I hope you have understood these all topics very well and you have achieved all the learning outcomes. Thank you.